What's up guys and gals, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the world of superheroes and their notorious foes. Today we're talking about one of the most infamous groups of Spider-Man villains, the Sinister Six. This band of baddies have been causing chaos and mayhem for a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man for quite some time now. We've got some pretty interesting characters in this group such as the Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion, Prowler, and Mysterio. But there's one member that often gets overlooked and that's the Rhino. You may be thinking, wait, what? What's so special about a guy in a rhino costume? Well, my friend, let me tell you, it's not just a costume. You see, Rhino's not your average villain. He's got an armor that's been attached to his skin and, trust me, it's not for the faint of heart. This armor gives him the super strength to lift several tons of weight. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into the origin story of Rhino and how a simple Russian mob member became a force to be reckoned with. It's a wild ride, folks, and you won't want to miss it. So without further ado, let's jump into this story of the Rhino. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. How did Alexei Sitsevich turn into the Rhino from a member of the Russian Mafia? Alexei Sitsevich had always yearned for wealth and success, but his life in the Russian Mafia had led him down a dark and dangerous path. With no clear way out, his future appeared bleak and short-lived. That was until a group of professional spies offered him a tantalizing opportunity, a chance to become a superhuman agent with the power to achieve his wildest dreams. All he had to do was undergo a series of risky and life-threatening treatments. A gamble he was willing to take in the hope of securing a better life for himself and his family, but the transformation was far from complete. Alexei needed more than just strength and speed to become the ultimate weapon. He required an impenetrable suit of armor that could withstand any attack. That's where two brilliant scientists, Igor and Georgie, came in. They were tasked with crafting a suit that would match Alexei's newfound abilities, and they drew inspiration from the toughest creature on the planet, the rhinoceros. Their creation would be permanently bonded to Alexei's form, making him an unstoppable force of nature. With his muscular physique and limited intelligence, Alexei was the perfect candidate to wear the armored suit. But he soon realized that he was nothing more than a pawn in the spy's game, a tool to be used and discarded at will. As he set out on a path of destruction and revenge, he vowed to take control of his own fate and become the master of his own destiny. Rhino, who was trained to speak American English and equipped with false identity papers under the name Alex O'Hearn, was tasked with kidnapping astronaut John Jameson and selling him to the highest bidder. However, Rhino got overconfident and destroyed his benefactor's headquarters before attempting to abduct Jameson on his own. As Rhino made his way to New York City, Spider-Man found two crucial weaknesses in him. Rhino couldn't change direction once he started charging and was rather foolish. Using his superior agility, Spider-Man avoided Rhino's attacks and defeated him. Rhino was then sent to a hospital, but he escaped and sought revenge on Spider-Man. The hero defeated Rhino once more, this time with a specially formulated version of his web fluid that weakened Rhino. Rhino suit. Rhino was later approached by the spies who had transformed him with the offer to increase his strength through a gamma ray process and an acid resistant suit. The treatment doubled Rhino's previous strength level. Exploring his first comic book appearance, The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 41 saw the introduction of Rhino in the comics as a nemesis of the superhero. Amidst the hustle and bustle of New York, Spider-Man, otherwise known as Peter Parker, decides to upgrade his mode of transportation and purchase the new motorcycle. Wanting to ensure a smooth transaction, he calls upon J. Jonah Jameson, the editor-in-chief of the Daily Bugle for a credit reference. Thankfully, Jonah approves, fully aware that this deal would enable him to get cheaper pictures from Peter. While Peter is engrossed in his motorcycle purchase, John Jameson, the son of J. Jonah Jameson, pays his father a visit. During their conversation, Jonah goes off on a tangent about his disdain for Spider-Man, but John expresses his gratitude for the superhero, revealing that Spider-Man saved him during a dangerous space mission. John shares that NASA has recently cleared him for his next spacewalk after he had been exposed to space force that may be beneficial to the United States space program. To ensure his safety, NASA has assigned bodyguards to protect him from potential kidnappings by rival countries. Amidst these developments, chaos erupts at the Mexican border as a colossal man in a rhinoceros costume charges through, causing destruction and chaos wherever he goes. Meanwhile, Peter runs into Betty Brandt, a friend who has just returned to town. 
As they catch up, they realize that their romantic feelings for each other have faded. After excusing himself, Peter witnesses the footage of Rhino and decides to take action. Arriving at John Jameson's hotel suite, Peter discovers that Rhino has kidnapped John, intending to sell him to the highest bidder, and reveals sensitive information about his space missions. Knowing he cannot fight Rhino head-on, Peter devises a plan and flips Rhino onto his head, rendering him unconscious so the police can arrest him. The following day, Peter rides his new motorcycle to school, where he catches the eye of Gwen Stacy. As they converse, they both realize their attraction toward each other for the first time. Meanwhile, Peter is reminded by his Aunt May that he has a dinner engagement with the Watsons, where he will meet Mary Jane, the niece of Anna Watson. Rhino's memorable movie appearance, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Paul Giamatti portrays the Alexei Sitsevich version of the Rhino. According to Jerome Chan, Oscorp has pieced together the armor from Soviet military gear surplus, which Sitsevich has then customized further. This iteration of Sitsevich is an overconfident, dim-witted member of the Russian Mafia who attempts to steal Oscorp plutonium. However, his plan is thwarted by Spider-Man, and he is ultimately imprisoned, but Gustav Fier intervenes and provides its savage with a rhinoceros themed mech suit equipped with heavy machine guns and missile launchers. A confrontation ensues between its savage and Spider-Man following a shootout with the police. Paul Giamatti also revealed that the Rhino was intended to make a comeback in the third installment of the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, but unfortunately the project was scrapped. Rhino featured in Spider-Man the Animated Series, voiced by Don Stark. Don Stark, who also starred in other famous shows and movies such as The 70s Show and Green Book, voices Rhino for quite a bit. One might say it is his most known role in his career. Let's talk about a few episodes, shall we? In the Alien Costume Part 2, we have seen how Spider-Man comes across the symbiote and how it affects him. Peter Parker is a simple guy with simple desires who, unfortunately, leads a not-so-simple life. After the symbiote attaches to him, his whole personality changes, and this is not something he wants. So he goes around for answers. Jameson has been getting photos of Spider-Man stealing Promethium X from Eddie Brock, and this gives him a false idea that the wall crawler has finally been caught in depravity. But Spider-Man visits Daily Bugle and reminds him that a man in a rhino suit is also there in the shuttle and it is not him. When Jameson's son John also confirms this fact, Brock is fired under the manipulation of evidence and this creates a sense of rivalry and anger in Brock, who becomes Venom's target soon. In the alien costume part 3, happily traversing the city in his classic costume, Spider-Man looks forward to a date with Mary Jane Watson. His plans are derailed, however, when he spots Rhino lurking on a nearby rooftop. After defeating Rhino, Spider-Man is ambushed by Shocker and flung into a Daily Bugle billboard, where the two villains prepare to launch another attack. Out of nowhere, Venom appears and flings Rhino aside, soundly defeating Shocker. As Spider-Man prepares to face his remaining foes, he realizes they're already webbed up, just not by him. Suddenly, Eddie Brock materializes and lends a hand to Spider-Man, assisting him out of the rubble. In a moment of confusion, Eddie asks if they can call him Peter Parker before revealing his dark side and tossing Spider-Man across the rooftop. With a symbiote suit now in his possession, Venom is stronger than ever, ready to take on his former tormentor. In the Insidious 6 episode from the second season, we know that the original members of the group are locked in a prison and one of them, Chameleon, has the ability to change its appearance into anyone if necessary. Necessary. As the guard strolls past, Chameleon's cell catches his eye, revealing Warden Davis locked inside. With the guard's assistance, Chameleon secures the cell, and his cohorts, Mac Gargan, Kenton Back, and Shocker are released from confinement. They proceed to retrieve their costumes and gear from a nearby locker room. Utilizing a smokescreen courtesy of Mysterio, they escape unnoticed by the guards. Upon approaching Rhino's cell, Shocker's attempt to blast it open proves futile. Chameleon then unveils the keys he had secured from the guard and sets Rhino free. The group then makes their way to Dr. Octopus's cell, where Shocker's vibroshock gauntlets destroy the shackles that held his mechanical arms. The six felons race to the courtyard, where they face opposition from the prison guards. But a helicopter comes to their rescue, lifting them to safety. Their helicopter eventually lands at an abandoned warehouse where they are greeted by Kingpin. Over an intercom, he dubs them the Insidious Six, his ultimate weapon. Dr. Octopus demands an explanation for Kingpin's motives. He is informed that Kingpin is their new leader and they are to work together. 
Spider-Man suddenly appears on the skylight and the fight ensues. Shocker's vibroshock gauntlets prove ineffective as Spider-Man dodges him. Dr. Octopus attempts to strike him with his mechanical arms but Spider-Man leaps to safety. Scorpion tackles him but Rhino delivers the final blow. However, it is revealed to be a robot, much to Rhino's surprise. Kingpin and Smythe join the fray, proposing to work together to defeat Spider-Man. Dr. Octopus and Mysterio refuse but Kingpin reminds him that they failed individually before. After some convincing, Dr. Octopus decides to join the Insidious Six, lured by the prospect of the world's finest laboratory, and thus the villainous group is formed. You, just you, and payback for all the times you took me. His appearance in other major animated shows explored. In the spectacular Spider-Man, the Alex O'Hearn version of the Rhino, voiced by Clancy Brown, starts as a small-time criminal under the employment of Flint, Marco, and Tombstone. However, fate takes a dark turn when he becomes a test subject in Norman Osborn's unethical experiments, which involve infusing him with Dr. Otto Octavius's titanium armor. The experiment gives him extraordinary strength, but it also blocks perspiration, causing him to rehydrate frequently. Dubbed as the Rhino, he battles Spider-Man and joins two different versions of the Sinister Six, making him one of the most formidable foes Spider-Man has ever faced. In this version of the story, Clancy Brown brings a menacing presence to the Rhino, making him a memorable villain in this beloved animated series. The Spider-Man 2017 series introduces the Sid Savage version of the Rhino, voiced mainly by Matthew Mercer, and then shortly by Ben Pronsky and Dead Man's Party. In this version, Alexi is a student at Horizon High who has been injected with serum unknowingly by a guy named Raymond Warren. The experiment transforms him into a hulking monster, giving him the physical abilities of a rhinoceros, but also causing him to experience poor eyesight like the animal. This version of the rhino is a refreshing take on the classic villain, as it shows the character in a new light and makes him an even more intriguing figure in the Spider-Man universe. And as we already know, Don Stark lends his voice to the rhino, an iconic supervillain in the Spider-Man the Animated Series. It makes a stunning entrance as one of Kingpin's trusted men in the Alien costume trilogy, causing a in the city. Later on, the Rhino becomes part of the notorious group of supervillains known as the Insidious Six in the Insidious Six and Battle of the Insidious Six episodes. His brute strength and massive build proved to be a daunting challenge for Spider-Man, transforming from a teenager into a hulking, anthropomorphic rhinoceros through the use of a serum. The Rhino in Ultimate Spider-Man, another version of Alex O'Hearn, possesses raw biological power instead of relying on armor. Rhino's introductory episode reveals his abilities and leads him to eventually become a member of the Sinister Six, although Spider-Man convinces him to use his strength for good by enrolling in the S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy. However, things take a dark turn when Dr. Octopus exploits Rhino's vulnerability and manipulates him under mind control during Season 4. Luckily, Spider-Man eventually manages to find a way to reverse the mind control and return Rhino to his human form, giving him a chance to make amends for his past actions. Other appearances also include Spider-Man 1967, voiced by Ed McNamara, Spidey and his amazing friends voiced by Justin Shankaro and will appear in Spider-Man freshman year in the near future. Did Rhino have a simpler personality compared to other supervillains? Rhino is a character whose charming yet foolish nature often belies his nefarious actions, leading him down a dark path of criminality. Despite his inherent goodness, Rhino's choices ultimately led to his villainous persona being solidified. However, there is a turning point in Rhino's life that will change him forever. When his beloved wife passes away, something within him snaps, causing him to spiral into the vortex of brutality and insanity. Rhino's new purpose in life Life becomes inflicting suffering and pain on anyone who crosses his path. It can't really be called simple because most of the violence he commits comes from within after Oksana's death. But hey, tragedies change even villains. That is how villains are made in the first place, but that is a topic that we will pick up later on. Some of Rhino's most iconic comic book story arcs, The Punisher. Rhino has recently fallen victim to The Punisher's wrath, leaving him in a less than optimal state. However, the Rhino soon resurfaces at the funeral of Stiltman, where he gets into a scuffle with Armadillo, causing a commotion that is eventually quilled by Spider-Man. Unfortunately, the event takes a tragic turn when The Punisher bombs the wake, posing as the bartender and poisoning the villains in attendance, including the Rhino. Despite suffering from severe burns and requiring 
stomach pumping, Rhino manages to survive the attack, but that isn't the end of Rhino's troubles. He soon finds himself involved in a bank robbing scheme with two accomplices, which put him in the Punisher's crosshairs yet again. During a showdown in their hideout, the Punisher kills one of the accomplices and fires a rocket launcher of Rhino, only for Spider-Man to come to the rescue. Both Rhino and Spider-Man are then tranquilized by Alyosha Kravinov and taken to a zoo inhabited by animal-themed superhumans. Alongside Vulture and Tiger Shark, after Kraven's defeat, the Punisher has a change of heart and decides to spare Rhino, recalling the innocent lives he has taken in the past. As a gesture of remorse for his part in a bank robbery and the death of his accomplice at the Punisher's hands, Rhino makes a generous donation to the latter's widow ends of the Earth. In a twisted turn of events, Rhino has forged an alliance with Dr. Octopus and the notorious Sinister Six to carry out their final plan for world domination. Together with Sandman, he undergoes rigorous training at their secret underwater hideout, where they delve into their motivations and the benefits of joining forces. The Sinister Six hatched their first attack on the Intelligentsia, with Rhino taking on the formidable Awesome Andy. Though the latter tries to adapt to Rhino's brute strength, he is no match for Rhino's unbridled fury in his vanity pushed in the end. Meanwhile, Doc Ock dispatches the Sinister Six to steal various items, including an Alpha Gamma Disruptor from a Hulkbuster Omega base in New Mexico, which Rhino and Sandman are tasked to retrieve. Chameleon leads the Avengers to a rendezvous point for the Sinister Six along the Mediterranean coast of Spain. Rhino and his cohorts engage in a fierce battle against the Avengers, with Rhino wielding the deadly Fang of Jormungrand to impale Thor through the chest, while the Sinister Six finish off the rest of the superhero team. Rhino later sets sets his sights on Spider-Man, Silver Sable, and Black Widow, who are on a mission to destroy Doc Ock's facility in North Korea. As Silver Sable destroys the base, Spider-Man uses a device to weaken Rhino's impenetrable skin, causing him to collapse. Rhino manages to limp back to the Sinister Six just as Doc Ock unleashes his ultimate plan, scorching the Earth from space. The final showdown takes place at Doc Ock's last stronghold, where Rhino confronts Spider-Man and Silver Sable. In a heart-wrenching moment, Rhino sees Jesus, Silver Sable and pins her down as the room starts to flood. Despite Spider-Man's pleas to spare her, Rhino's malevolent grin suggests that he has other plans. Ultimately, both Silver Sable and Rhino appear to perish in the water, leaving Spider-Man with a deep sense of regret. Clone Conspiracy Hiding out in Guatemala, sulking and drowning his sorrows in alcohol, Rhino miraculously survives the cataclysmic events of Ends of the Earth. However, his respite is cut short when he is approached by Ben Riley, the new jackal, who makes him an enticing job offer. Rhino is to work security for Ben's clandestine operation, New U Technologies, a company fronting for his nefarious cloning and blackmail scheme. In order to sweeten the deal, Ben promises Rhino that he will clone his late lover, Oksana. Rhino is not the only recruit for Ben's dubious enterprise. With his help, Ben also manages to secure the services of the notorious supervillain's Electron Lizard, whom he breaks out of prison. But when Spider-Man and his cohorts eventually thwart Ben's plans, his unstable clones, including Oxana, dissolve into nothingness, leaving Rhino bereft and consumed with grief. In his anger, Rhino lashes out at a SWAT team, causing widespread destruction and chaos. It is only through the efforts of Spider-Man who manages to talk him down from his rage that Rhino is eventually calmed down. Rhino ultimately surrenders to the authorities, with Spider-Man promising to keep tabs on him in the future. Savage Six Craven the Hunter has devised a nefarious plan to organize a grand trophy hunt, where wealthy patrons can hunt animal-themed villains. Rhino is among the six primary animal-themed villains captured by Taskmaster and Black Ant for Craven's hunt. Craven's twisted logic is to teach these villains a lesson for dishonoring the animal kingdom. The group is known as the Savage Six, as per Craven's partner RK. Fortunately, Spider-Man's interventions disrupts Craven's scheme, freeing the Savage Six. Vulture, one of the advertised big game baddies, sees the potential in the Savage Six and suggests the other animal-themed villains, Stegron, Scorpion, Tarantula, and King Cobra, that they band together. With a newfound sense of camaraderie, they make their way to Hollywood to shut down a movie that is painting them in a negative light. Mysterio produces the biographical film, but the villainous gang is unsuccessful in their attempts thanks to the intervention of Mary Jane, the lead actress, and a group of security guards. Sinister War 
Rhino and his newly formed team are determined to exact revenge on Mysterio and won't be discouraged by their previous failure. They devise a plan to sabotage the movie at its premiere, but their efforts are met with opposition from Spider-Man, who is in attendance as Mary Jane's date. In the midst of their altercation, a new Sinister Six makes a surprise appearance, seeking to recruit Mysterio. With the Sinister Six's help, Mysterio is able to evade Rhino and his team and regroup with their ally, Kindred. As fate will have it, Spider-Man finds himself in another scuffle at a nearby graveyard where he encounters a slew of villains. The Savage Six, who have followed him, join in on the mayhem but are soon outmatched when Doc Ock cleverly uses a piece of Black Ant's helmet to incapacitate everyone, including Rhino, who has been under Kindred's control via ear centipedes. What makes Rhino so dangerous? Rhino's incredible abilities are the result of numerous gamma ray treatments that have fortified his cellular structure and added several hundred pounds of muscle and bone tissue to his already massive frame. These treatments have led to a dramatic increase in his strength over the years, making him a nearly unstoppable force. One of Rhino's most notable abilities is his superhuman strength. He has demonstrated the ability to lift up to 75 tons and can even match the strength of the mighty Hulk. Rhino's strength allows him to effortlessly destroy armor and resist the attempts of heroes like Spider-Man to loosen his grip. In addition to his strength, Rhino possesses impressive superhuman speed. Despite his massive size, he can run and move at incredible speeds, even catching up to a moving train. When charging or ramming, he can reach his destination quickly, though he is not nearly as fast as true speedsters. Rhino's enhanced musculature also gives him incredible superhuman stamina, allowing him to exert himself for up to 24 hours before fatigue starts to impair his performance. He even battled the Hulk for several days straight on the outer hull of a spaceship without tiring. Rhino's body is highly resistant to physical injury, even without his suit. He can withstand high-caliber bullets, fall from great heights, and exposure to temperature extremes without any issues. His suit further enhances his durability, making him almost invulnerable to explosions equivalent to one ton of TNT and the impact of small anti-tank weaponry. The suit's bulletproof polymer mat, rhino-like hide, and two horns capable of penetrating two-inch plate steel make him an even more formidable opponent. What happens when another version of Rhino fights the original Rhino? The Rhino has a life-changing decision that alters his destiny. He relinquishes his criminal ways and hands himself over to the authorities, admitting to all the charges leveled against him, painfully strips him off his Rhino attire, and he is sentenced to serve a 25-year jail term at Rikers Island. Despite being solicited by the Russian Mafia and other notorious gangs, he rejects their advances and even goes as far as abstaining from participating in a jailbreak. Alexei's good behavior and cooperation earns him an early parole to create more space for more hardened criminals. Upon his release, he heads straight to a diner where the waitress Oksana treats him with a mix of kindness and hostility, recognizing him as an ex-con common sight in the eatery. After paying for his meal, he rents a room at Vasily's and meets Dr. Trauma, who seeks to rebrand him as a newer, better version of Rhino. When Alexei encounters Oksana sobbing at the restaurant, he approaches her and discovers she has lost her job due to her unpleasant demeanor towards the customers. He declines Dr. Trauma's proposal and asks Oksana out for dinner, leading to their eventual marriage and cohabitation in a modest Yonkers apartment. However, Alexei's new life is threatened when Dr. Trauma finds a new person to assume the Rhino persona and eliminate the original Rhino. However, the new Rhino soon develops a desire to eliminate his predecessor if he wants to gain dominance. Inevitably, Spider-Man intervenes and takes down the second Rhino, but the fight is not over yet. A phone call from an unknown caller prompts the second Rhino to track down Sid Savage. In his quest to confront Alexei, Rhino interrupts a press conference hosted by J. Jonah Jameson. Alexei lies to the new Rhino, agreeing to engage him in combat using his Rhino suit, only to flee with his wife Oksana. However, before they can reach their hideout, the second Rhino attacks once again. This time, Alexei's wife tragically loses her life. With a heart full of vengeance and rage, Alexei dons his original Rhino suit, which proves superior to the new Rhinos, and finally eliminates the second Rhino. Conclusion so there you have it, folks. The origin story of the Rhino, a classic villain with a complicated past. Who knows what kind of trouble he'll get into next, but one thing's for sure, he'll always be remembered as one of Spider-Man's most iconic foes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more superhero content.